I started college when I was 16, and there are so many things. If I could go back and tell my younger self, I would make sure she's a little bit more prepared. The biggest thing is gonna be relationships. And that is all kinds of relationships. I'm not just talking about sexual relationships. I'm talking about friendships. I'm talking about boyfriend, girlfriend, everything under that umbrella. If you don't feel comfortable around a group of people or if that, that, that friendship or that relationship is not feeding your soul, so to speak, find new ones, you know, and that's, that's all part of college. Find people that you are happy and comfortable to be around with and they're not going to pressure you into doing things that you may not be ready to do. You don't owe anybody anything. Going off to college can be scary because you're on your own for the first time. You're making decisions on your own and you're also making mistakes on your own too. So it's important to know that that happens to everybody and it's this rite of passage. One thing to keep in mind is that not everybody out here is having sex in college. Don't feel pressure to do any of that. You do what you are comfortable with and don't try to keep up with other people because everybody is different. If you are going to have sex in college, it is important to know a couple of things before getting there. Know how to protect yourself. Know what's normal, what's not, what's appropriate. Not only to prevent yourself from getting any STIs, but also to prevent pregnancy. And so things that you may want to kind of get together and have with you, have your own condoms, be ready, control what you can control and put it in your hands. And also very important, think about what you want, what else you may want to do to prevent pregnancy. Do you want to be on birth control? Do you want to just use condoms? Do you want an IUD? There's so many options. And so those are things to think about when you're going away because you never know when it's going to be necessary or when that point's going to come when you do become sexually active and you want to have a plan. Also keep in mind that STIs, a lot of STIs can be treated, but there are some that can't be treated. And there are some that can really have some long-term effects on your health, on your fertility, um, on your future. Also try to get testing regularly so that you can catch things early and treat them. Some infections can cause more issues if they go untreated or undetected. On that note, finding healthcare when you're in college, it depends on where you're going, right? So there's always a student health center where you can get kind of the basics of your healthcare, but sometimes they're not as great for women's health. So if you need something for birth control, if you're having abnormal periods, if you're having pain, all kinds of things like that, it is good to start looking around to find a women's health provider, a gynecologist, so that you have somewhere that you can go to address these issues. You also want to be mindful that if you are still on your parents' insurance, some of the things that you may seek care for or some of the prescriptions you may get that could show up on your parents' insurance. So keep that in mind if there's something that you don't want them to know, you know, like billing and things like that, that may show up on their, their bill, their statement. So just keep that in mind. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and um, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe to get more information on our channel.